In this week's Peppy List, I covered the achievements of the Gupta Empire. After the fall of the Mauryan Empire, the Indian civilization was once again divided. A new power arose under the Gupta Empire to fill the void that the Mauryans had left on the Indian subcontinent. This new empire helped create a golden age because it was a period of relative peace, stability, and growth. Many of the great achievements of the Indian civilization occurred during the reign of the Guptas. This video will cover the details of the Gupta Empire, early Indian universities, Sanskrit, Indian art, and Indian mathematics. First on the list is the Gupta Empire. The Guptas ruled India as a dynasty from about 320 CE to 550 CE. After the fall of the Mauryan Empire in 187 BCE, India went back to being separate kingdoms for about 500 years. Many of these kingdoms fought each other. Chandragupta I was the founder of the Gupta Empire. He is not to be confused with the leader of the Mauryan Empire, Chandragupta Maurya. Chandragupta is a common name in India. Just like there are many King Henrys in England, uh, there are many Chandraguptas in India. Second on the list are Indian universities. The Gupta dynasty was responsible for building many universities throughout their empire. The most important university was called the University of Nalanda. Many different subjects were taught there using Hindu or Buddhist philosophies. Medicine was one of the most important subjects studied at these early Indian universities, which were some of the first in the world. Hindu doctors were especially skilled at surgery and could even stitch up wounds using the claws of giant ants. Next on the list is Sanskrit. Sanskrit is an old Indo-Aryan language in which the most ancient writings are the Vedas, composed in what is called the Vedic Sanskrit. Indian manuscripts were written in Sanskrit and often illustrated. One example of Sanskrit writing is the Bhagavata Purana. It was a sacred Hindu text. Sacred means religious. The text is about the Hindu god Vishnu. Vishnu is one of the main Hindu gods and is known as the preserver of the universe. Indian folk tales spread to other cultures like Greece and Persia. In fact, the story of Aladdin is originally an Indian folk tale. Fourth on the list is Indian art. The most famous Indian paintings are probably the Ajanta Cave murals. Some of these murals depict the Buddha's different stages of life. Another type of art was sculpture. There are many sculptures of Hindu deities, that means gods, and of Buddha found throughout the Indian culture. Nobles sometimes hired artists to create works on long scrolls that showed the luxury of noble life. Here are a few examples of sculptures and paintings from early Indian civilization. And last on the list is Indian mathematics. Gupta mathematicians developed the decimal system using the Indo-Arabic numerals we use for today's mathematics. Hindu mathematicians were also the first to use zero as a number. Remember, the invention of zero came long before the Gupta Empire, but it was at this time that they used it for the decimal system for small number measurements. One of the most famous Indian mathematicians was a, was a man named Aryabhata. He was able to figure out the exact length of a year using math. In this week's Pepe List, I continued the history of India. We covered the Gupta Empire, Indian universities, Sanskrit, Indian art, and Indian mathematics. I hope you like this Pepe List. Please like and subscribe.